Honourable Governor for West New Britain. Thank you, Mr. Acting Speaker. Kostin uh, Blumi, without notice, me direct him Golo. Deputy Prime Minister, na same time I'm Acting Minister of Immigration too. I'm just now I'm Treasurer, I'm Tok Tok Low. Importance for tourism. As we all know, tourism is a multi billion dollar industry. I know that one of the most hard law, PNG is one of the hardest country to get visa. Then I complain to many tourists. Um, it's a multi-billion dollar industry, but um, Kishim Visa lo, come inside lo, PNG, it's one of the most difficult tasks. Can the acting uh, immigration minister, Natu, um, deputy prime minister, can assure this house that uh, you know, the promised honorable visa in 2015 time, President Blow India come. Now na, this year, you may like, expect him, prime minister Blow India to come. So enough, you may can uh, grant him tourist visa Low this la country, India. They, they stand to be like uh, number three in the world economy. Uh, you know, in uh, right now they are in fourth place and they stand to become number three in the world. So can the minister can uh, clarify as to why you may look delay him, look give him this la tourist visa, low India and uh, other countries. Thank you. The Honourable Deputy Prime Minister. Thank you very much, uh, Acting Speaker. And I'd like to say, uh, appreciate the question from our good governor from uh, West New Britain on the very critical question he has just posed to us. For the case law, tourist visa, and one plus, big plus something, a lot of it is not just an easy solution, like you may give visa, that's all. It means uh, interacting with foreign affairs, and the Minister for Foreign Affairs has just recently updated us that he is working on ratifying a lot of the issues that we have had with the backlog of foreign affairs uh, problems associated with other countries so that we can be able to allow visas to be uh, done and issued for them. One of the things we've just uh, uplifted is the business visas, which is now a 12 month uh, business visa, short term uh, for 12 months, that businesses can enable, apply one plus time, that's all, no comes up one month, walk area up, now go, and come back. Over a period of 12 months, so all no can apply every time, na sign up line again every time. So it's making it a quicker and easy turnaround time for our businesses in light of the upcoming uh, mines and also for our current businesses in Papua New Guinea. And quite rightfully said so, the Good governor has mentioned about tourism. Tourism is a very important aspect that we need to look in as stadium. So we are in constant talks with the, our good foreign affairs minister, and he has just updated me also that the uh, Indonesian and Indian uh, diplomatic visas and uh, will be on arrival for the diplomatic staff that is coming in from them. And then we will also be looking at uh, the Philippines and the uh, Philippines and uh, Koreans, so they will be coming in. So we're working at rectifying a lot of this. He also said that some of this had been backlogged for over eight years that hasn't been done, and he's now uh, sorting it out with our immigration office to rectify a lot of these uh, backlog of issues. So yes, we are working on it, and it's a very important thing, and we'll be able to uh, sort it out and announce it to parliament in the uh, following months. Thank you.